a crowded race on the Republican side, but for a long time, the campaign cash has mostly been behind two candidates. But you may have noticed some money's being funneled into attack ads against a fresh face. KETV Newswatch 7's Michelle Bandour joins us live with this Commitment 2022 report. David Alexandra, one political media consultant, tells me recent high-profile endorsements of Brett Lindstrom have turned this two-candidate race into a third one, shaking things up. All of a sudden, everybody's talking about Brent Lindstrom. All of a sudden, his, the opponents in the dark money are attacking Brent Lindstrom. That's political media consultant Ryan Horn watching the Nebraska governor Republican race come alive with what he calls a surge from state senator Brent Lindstrom. So now you've got this third guy who's young, fresh face, appealing to suburban voters with his ad campaign in ways that they are not. And um, and it is a real curveball. And it and it has a feel like Brett Lind the feeling like Brett Lindstrom is surging at the right time. Horn points out the two conservative candidates, businessman Charles Herbster, is counting on his Donald Trump endorsement, while farmer Jim Pillen has Pete Ricketts support. The problem is They've overused the Ricketts endorsement so much that a lot of voters, I think particularly in Omaha, are wondering, are you your own man? In my mind, the best candidate to serve as our next governor is Brent Lindstrom. Horn says Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert's endorsement is a good get for Lindstrom, since half of primary voters are in the metro areas in Douglas and Lancaster counties. I think she instinctively understood that no one is talking to suburban Republican voters right now. Uh, except for Brett. Liberal Brett Lindstrom has supported raising our taxes again and again. And the dark money ads attacking Lindstrom, he refers to, are from a group called Restore the Good Life, Inc. There were a lot of undecideds. There were a lot of people who might be leaning one way or the other, but were not happy with the choices that they've been presented. And um, now you have kind of a fresh face coming in right at the right moment. I reached out to both the Pillen and the Herbster campaigns, and both tell me they are not behind the attack ads. Now, the Lindstrom campaign called the ads desperate and dishonest, saying voters know Brett is Nebraska's top tax slasher, pointing to the state senators passing the largest tax cut in Nebraska history just yesterday.